What up, y'all? Now let's be ready. I'm going to hit y'all, man, with an on-time message. Just part two of what um talked about yesterday. Which was addiction. What are we addicted to? So the next message of this, or the next part of this message is, can you give up your addiction to whatever it is and, and follow God? Because too much of anything can definitely lead you astray if you don't know that you're being controlled. You know, most people's addictions are pretty much the same thing. You know, games, tablets, uh, some people, alcohol, drugs, marijuana, sex, uh, television. It's, it's so many things out there, food that you can be addicted to. And my question to y'all is, if the Lord were to come back right now, would you be ready to let go of what you're addicted to? Would you be ready to hear that trumpet, to hear that sound, to, to hear, you know, when it's time to go, where, when, when the trumpet sounds? Would you be ready? You know, could you literally sell all of your things and just follow into Christ's footsteps? Could you do that right now? Or are you that much addicted to whatever it is that's holding you back? Now, I'm not talking religion. I'm not talking that because religion has to die. What I'm talking about is being a follower of Christ. Could you follow in his footsteps? Could you let go of everything and chase after God? Or is those possessions holding you from where you're supposed to be going? Like, literally, we literally have to let go of everything that we knew, everything that we thought we knew and follow Christ because the only way to get to the Father is through Christ. I've tried everything. I'm telling you, I've, I've looked into um, the Quran. I've looked into uh, Catholics. I've looked into uh, Apostolistic, uh, even Seven Day, um, whatever, however you pronounce the name, uh, Adventist. But also, uh, even indulging in uh, witchcraft. I'm here to tell you, I did. I even indulged in that because I started doing um, saging and smudging, thinking that that was going to get me my blessings. And what it did is it opened my eyes to, that's another portal, another way in for the enemy. Because I was doing that and going to uh, uh, ILI, which is Integrity Leadership Institute, at the same time, which is uh, biblical teaching classes. And it literally, I was teeter-tottering. I was like, okay, I'm doing this over here. But then I'm doing this too. You cannot serve two masters. Either you will love one or hate the other. And that goes for even with the things that you have in your hands right now. Like, you can't serve God and say, oh, I can't give up my game system. I can't give up my tab. I can't give up my makeup. I can't give up my girls. I can't give up uh, my homeboys. I can't give up my family. I'm here to tell you, man, I gave it all up. I gave it all up. I, I don't care. I'll give all of it away if it means that I get into heaven. If it means that I please the Father who is in heaven. The God that's within me. If I, Man, I'm telling you, I give it all up in a heartbeat. Because the lifestyle that I was living, man, it was nothing but addiction. Addiction to everything. And my main addiction, I told y'all yesterday, my main addiction is to porn. That's why I do not like looking at women twerk. I do not like looking at those videos, that, and I'm not going to cash out you no money. I'm not going to join your OnlyFans page, because that's a portal that the enemy knows that was my weakest point. That That's where he tempts me the most of all. And I'm not going back there. And y'all shouldn't either, man. I'm not, I'm not bringing condemnation on y'all. I'm literally just telling y'all, man, let go of whatever it is that is holding you back from chasing after the Father, chasing after our brother King Jesus, following in, in Christ's footsteps. You know, let him lead you, let him guide you, let him take the wheel, if you will. You know, if you want to take it into that realm, take the wheel and control everything 
for you. Like, you know, he's steering you. He's driving you. He's taking you to your destination. Make sure that you're praying. Make sure you're always praying. Like, your first day should consist of that. You can even be addicted to work. Did you know that? Like, look at the world, y'all. I'm telling you, look at the world. We've had so many addictions to so many things that's not like Christ. And so now, he's like, okay, y'all need to sit down for a while. Come to me. Come to me and let me restore everything. Let me tell you where to go. Let me tell you what to do. Ask me for permission first before you go and do something. That's just like us as children with our own mothers and fathers. Like in the word it says, honor your mother or your father, your days will be numbered. Honor even the father who is in heaven who created you or your days will be numbered. And you don't want it to be too late. Because we got to keep on growing, man. We got to teach this to our children. And, and fathers, if we're not following in the footsteps of our ultimate father, mainly, if we're not uh, teaching our wives and our children this, then we are definitely leading them down the wrong path. We are leading them astray. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm not going to lead my kids astray. I'm not going to lead the kids that come into my pathway astray. I'm not going to lead the mothers or even the, uh, the fathers, the brothers and sisters that come in my pathway. I'm not going to lead them astray. I'm going to tell them, man, look, this is what I did. This is my testimony. This is my story and how I got to where I got to now, how I got to this crazy faith, this childlike faith to believe in the unseen because I've already seen it in my in the spiritual realm, but in the physical, I have not seen it yet, but you have not because you ask not. I'm telling you, man, turn away from those things that has been given to you, brothers, Take that game system, get rid of it, man. You're not forming a bond with your woman, with your children, with your ultimate father, the way he wants us to have that bond with him. Sisters, like, you ain't got to do all of that stuff, man. I talk about y'all because y'all are precious to me. We're all precious, but y'all are precious to me because y'all deserve better than that. Sisters, y'all deserve better than that. You don't need to be out here twerking your life away, thinking that it's cool. That stuff is not cool. Watch what you're listening to and who you're listening to, man. Them addictions is something that you can't get rid of. And an addiction ain't just to drugs. Anything can be a drug. Anything can be a, a vice to get in to your spiritual portal. Through your ears, through your eyes, through your nose, your mouth. All the holes that's in your body, which is, you know, your pores. They get in through that even. You want to make sure that you study in the right things and that you operate in the right things because if you don't know these things, you don't know that you're battling against a spiritual realm, then you'll fall for anything. And I'm just telling y'all, man, drop everything and chase after God. Drop everything and follow in the King Jesus' footsteps. And he'll lead you the way. He'll, he'll take that anxiety, that depression, those things that those doctors tell you that you suffer from and they tell you need to take these pills. Don't take the pills. Don't take the pills. Forget the marijuana because it's a placebo. If it really worked for you, then you wouldn't be depressed after you come down off that high. You wouldn't be depressed or having anxiety issues once you come down off of that drunkenness or taking those nighttime pills talking about I need to sleep. Come on, man. The Father who is in heaven wants to give you all of that, wants to give you peace and sleep, and he has a word for you. He will deliver you from it. I'm telling y'all right now, man, I used to have back problems. I used to have, like, just a whole bunch of issues. But I started chasing after God and chasing the word and decree and speaking that over my life. And now I don't even have those back problems. You know how they say, oh, when the weather changed, my back get to hurt. You know, I can feel when this is coming on. I'm telling y'all, I have none of that any longer. I have no back problems. Ain't nothing wrong with my legs. Ain't nothing wrong with my knees. I'm still young. I can get out there and play basketball with the rest of them. And get right back up when I hurt myself. I'm like, all right, pick yourself up and try again. But again, too much of anything can kill you. I spend most of my time in the Word. I ain't even folding up my clothes right now because I'm too busy talking to y'all. But I'm just telling you, man, spend time in the Word, man. Spend time with God. Spend time with your ultimate Father because He is the one that is your supplier of everything that you need, everything that you desire. Anything that you want in life, the Father will give it to you. Anything, and I'm talking anything. But no negative things, only the positive things. Everything's, you know, you're rich already. You're rich in glory. You must first believe it, think it, so you can then achieve it. But the Father gives you the mindset to do that. But you must first...
take up your cross and follow him. Man, I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge.